All right, so obviously set goals is the discussion that we're going to be doing. Uh, and let's see how much, you know, if you're able to break it down in a way that you understand, okay? Especially based off your notes and my notes. So in saying that, I'm going to hurry up and press start and let's dive in. Listen to a conversation between a student and a professor. Normally, this is a discussion, student professor, okay? Hi, okay. teacher. Do you have some time to talk? Sure, Nick. Okay. So my roommate, he does all this stuff. Like, he's got goals and things, you know? And I've been thinking that I should try to be a bit more like him and set goals for myself. And I was thinking that I could do that by taking more courses to learn more new things. But I really don't know what sort of courses I could take. So that's where you come in. Hopefully, I mean, if you have any ideas. Sorry, I'm rambling. Don't worry about it. So if I understand correctly, you just want some suggestions on how to learn new things, right? Yeah, that just about does it. Okay. Have you considered the learning opportunities outside of class? What do you mean? Well, university is not only a great place for academic knowledge, but also a place where you can develop many other skills. Other skills? Like leadership? Absolutely. You can also develop skills such as teamwork, self-motivation, and all sorts of things. Okay, yeah. That does sound like stuff that my roommate's got going for him. So I want to be a part of that kind of stuff, too. I think it's a good idea. These kinds of opportunities really help round out academic learning. I like it. How would I go about those? Well, you can take some collaboration courses that require students to work together as a team. Okay, great. I'll look into those more. Are there other courses that would offer these kinds of things? There are always physical education courses. We have a big variety of them, so there should be something that appeals to you. Oh, I haven't done anything like sports in a while. That could be really good. A lot of people actually learn to play sports in university without any prior experience. This can become a big part of their life in an unexpected but nice way. Plus, it promotes fitness and good health. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Plus, my roommate does play basketball, so there's that. It's nice that your roommate is such a good role model for you. Mm-hmm. I don't know that all of this stuff would have occurred to me otherwise. Sounds like you should make sure to thank him. You could also try to coordinate a class together so that you could go in already having a friend. That's a good idea. I think I'll talk to him about that. And I'll definitely look more into all of those courses you told me about. Glad to hear it. Is there anything else? I don't think so. You've been really helpful. Thank you very much. Anytime, Nick. Good luck with developing new skills. Thanks. See you tomorrow in class. Okay, so here we go. The timer is on. Okay? 3.30 and ticking. So here we go. With the notes, that's right. You get 3 minutes and 30 seconds to answer about 5 to 6 questions, okay? Ah, so let's do this time, little time, time, time. So here we go. Why does the student want to talk to the teacher, Grace? Based on the notes you've taken, what do you think? To get help with class assignments? To get suggestions on what classes to take next semester? To find a job? Or to get suggestions on how to learn new things? And new things, the last one. There we go. Easy. All right, let's keep it running. Oh, listen to this part of the conversation again. So basically, you have to... What does... You know, again, sometimes it's mainly about implications. What does the professor implicate? What does the professor imply? Meaning you have to find the hidden meaning behind what is being said. But in this case, it's a little bit different. It says, which answer best describes the student at the beginning of the conversation? Is he nervous, frustrated, angry, or happy? Uh, do I have to listen something or not? Oh, as a matter of fact, yeah, let's just hurry up and listen. That's a good point. <laughs> okay. Okay. So my roommate, he does all this stuff. Like, he's got goals and things, you know? And I've been thinking that I should try to be a bit more like him and set goals for myself. And I was thinking that I could do that by taking more courses to learn more new things. But I really don't know what sort of courses I could take. So that's where First you come trade, in. No? Hopefully, I mean, if you have any ideas. You think he sounds frustrated. I'm rambling. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go with that. Now, obviously, you know, by me looking at the notes, it sounded like he was a little bit confused 
and the confusion can come from nervousness. But I'm going to go with you're frustrated. All right. Now we got a minute and a half. Which of the following is not one of the skills? Which of the following is not one of the skills in terms of development? Now, I wrote these down and she said this. Look at my notes. Leadership, teamwork, self-motivation. I did not hear organization. No, exactly. This is why your notes are very important because if you didn't write uh, down those big key content words, you're going to miss out. Who inspires Who inspires the student to learn more skills? Sorry, I'm rushing because I want to hit that time mark. The roommate. roommate. The roommate. Easy, okay? Like I told you, I want you to kick ass in these discussions. We got one more question. What should the student do at the end of this conversation? Now, these are the notes I, wrote, uh, I had written down at the bottom. So what should the student do at the end? I think all of them, no. Ask his roommate about taking a class mm -hmm. together, look into taking a physical education class, mm -hmm. and look into taking a collaboration course. You think all of them, right? All of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Boom. Good job. You finish in three minutes. Very good. And, okay, and there is three minutes. How, how long? Three minutes? Three minutes. Oh, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. So three that's why I was kind oh, That's okay. kind of like why I was like rushing you a little bit. I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because oh, okay, obviously, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, three to five. Hmm. Which one was wrong? Ooh, you got three out of five. Something went wrong. See, I told you nervous. He seemed confused. Uh, okay. And I thought it was because he was nervous. So here we go. Number three, okay, organization. Number four, his roommate. Number five, what happened? Oh, I forgot to put number it? five. No, 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 I forgot to click it. Uh, I just, yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to click it. Good job. Now, that question. So I didn't know. So that part, because for me, it looks like frustrated but that what you're saying before that, uh, like the meaning of nervous is, um, what is it that the other word? Um, I no, not frustrated. Uh, nervous meaning the other. Nervous, the other angry, word. happy, and frustrated. Exactly. So if you said nervous, he doesn't. For me, it didn't sound nervous. Just like he didn't do anything for himself by himself, like frustrated. No. Mm, well, the thing is. I felt like he was nervous because he sounded confused when he first approached the professor. And I wrote that confused. down because look, mm -hmm. if you look at here, if you look right here, he said, mm -hmm. I have this roommate and he does all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if someone is saying something like that, they're confused and they're confused because they're nervous. Mm -hmm. So confused he went to her nervous. and okay. he said, Hey, you have time to talk? She's like, sure, Nick. He's like, listen, uh, well, I have a roommate and he does all this stuff, like goals and things. It seems like he's trying to collect his thoughts and it's because he's nervous because he's asking a teacher and he's not sure of the reply that the teacher would probably get him. That's the feeling mm -hmm. that I got. I see, I see. All right, but confused. that's good. Good job, right. Miss Agrasa.